Hi students, it's Shayna from EspressoEnglish.net. You might be thinking, why make a video about pronouncing can and can't? That's so easy and obvious. But keep watching because there are some pronunciation changes when native English speakers say these words fast. And this lesson will help you understand can and can't better when you hear them, and it will also help you say these words more naturally in sentences. Let's start with can't. The main thing is that we don't really pronounce the T like T. We don't say can't with a really strong T sound. Instead, it sounds more like can't, can't. The end of the word just stops suddenly. We simply cut off the sound quickly instead of pronouncing a clear T, can't. This happens with a lot of English words ending in T. We say hat, get, sit, and not hat get, sit. So if you're expecting to hear a strong t sound at the end of can't, you won't. And this can be confusing. So how are you supposed to hear the difference between can and can't if we don't pronounce the final t like t? Here's how you can do it. The word can is also pronounced differently in fast spoken English. We usually don't say can with a strong a ah sound. Instead, we say something like kin or kn. The word gets shortened because the stress is usually on the main verb that comes after the word can. Let me show you some examples to make it clearer. I can swim. You can call me anytime. We can give you a ride. Hear how the word can sounds more like kin? I can swim. You can call, we can give. Because the stress is on those main verbs, swim, call, and give. This pronunciation of can, more like kin, also happens in questions with can. Let's look at some of these. Can you close the window? How can I help? Where can we buy the tickets? When you understand that can typically sounds like kin and can't typically sounds like can't, this will help you hear the difference. Can, can. Now let's practice sentences where the only difference is can or can't. So listen and repeat after me. I can understand. I can't understand. He can dance very well. He can't dance very well. They can leave early. They can't leave early. Can we take pictures? Can't we take pictures? Why can't we take pictures? These pronunciation differences between can and can't are small details and understanding them will help you hear the difference when you listen to someone speaking and you'll also say these words more naturally in sentences. If you want to practice your pronunciation to make it clearer and more natural, come check out my American English pronunciation course. I'll take you through all the sounds of the language and I'll ask you to listen and repeat lots of words and sentences in order to help you improve. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information and to sign up for my pronunciation course. Bye for now.